Okay, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm not giving everything up, but I, I'll give this up today. I did about an hour, 40-minute video for you. Um, don't know I got to, if I want to load it up or not. It's got too many goodies in it. I think I have to walk you up to it a little more slower. I think it was too overwhelming. I'll give you a couple of uh, tips. It dealt with this area here. It dealt with um, the BMHs. This dealt with, yeah, 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 I, I work outside. I just got finished working outside in the garden today um, for dirty fingernails. But somebody said they're going to buy me a fingernail thingy cleaner. You thingy. All right, I'll take it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Over here to your left is what I keep talking about. These detail right there. These uh, detail at drop slab, it says. This is the bonus free one today. The bonus free one. This is why the Joshes of the world, just they, they remind me of, I came up with a nice little coin um, phrase. They, you don't lock your office. They come running in there. They grab your work off your desk and they go publish it. Yet you've already published the work already, and they grab it, thinking it, and they grab it and publish it and say, "Look what I found," and I found it all on my own. So that's why I can publish it because I found it on my own. Yeah, you're talking about planters. So I don't think you found it on your own. It turns out most of you guys don't think he found it on his own. We go current time uh, three as of today, three seventeen. We go to the comment section. And there's that Jack, uh, Jeff, Jack, Jack off, Jeff off, whatever, Jeff off. He states that, let's see if I can zoom it out and read over top of the other side of it. Josh, at five, you said you could not find the planters in the 1979 drawing. I have the answer for you. I had mentioned it in a few of my videos in, in July that the HOA had a contractor come in back in 96 and added the extra planters as well as the palm trees. I put up a few videos showing this. All right, so they had the palm tree thing. So we scroll down and and Josh replies back. The building integrity guy says, I'll look into that. If the planners were added in 96, I'm curious to know if the engineer was higher, was higher if to know if an engineer was hired to evaluate the deck for that. Okay. So the video that's over an hour and 40 minutes long to load to give to you guys. Hour and 40 minutes. I will be talking in that video about shear planes created by the materials. Shear planes created by the materials. It's uh and I'll be talking to you about the deck consolidation over here, where it went to a 45, basically, crack because of spans. This lost the columns, and the spans um, fractured thereabouts in the middle between the two spans because of the dead loads of it. And it, could, it deflected in the middle, and we got one, two, three, and then it smashed on through the garage floor. But shearing at the BMAs, and that's over there by the steps, See the steps? That's that one step. There's the flower planter box. I will be talking about this image again in that long ass video. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Ooh. Warp speed. Whoa, baby. Whoa. Back it up. Back it up. You're coming on too strong. Back it up. Back up. Back up. Back up. What do you notice there? It's the flower box. It presents as flat. Oh, what's this? Another flower box. Oh, it presents like in a trench. Oh, and like a drop in there. Oh, and there's some rebar there. Oh, so we had an impact here to drive this in here. But we have the flower box right in front of us. Level. Level flower box. Ooh, that's going to be tough to explain, people. It's awesome data. Awesome. I'll explain why. One more time. There we go. And I'll explain why. I'll tie all this critical data right there in. There's another shot of it with a little debris in front of it. 
Now you don't have debris in front of it, but that's the flower box at the wall. That's, let me get the mouse going. Come on, mouse, where are you? That's this flower box right there, baby. Right there. And you can see it presents as kind of flat, not rotated over or anything else. That is going to be my little thing. Now, nobody better not beat me to it. Get off my channel, Josh, you piece of shit. And you too, that uh, tool monkey. Jack off, Jeff off, whatever your name. Stay the hell off my shit. Go away. You monetize and making money off of my hard work. NIST can have my data. You can get it after NIST does with it they want. What they want. Not not you clowns, you damn... Uh, uh, Got to lock my door around you, but you can't lock your door around these people. They come back in, I block them. They come back in on different count names and steal your data. But this is already going to be presented by me, guys. There it is. There it is. Right there. Wait a minute. The flower box. Flat. Flower box. Whoop. Yeah, baby. And there's the, the shrubbery of it. Yeah, baby. Very telling, right? So I'm going to show you. I've got multiple pages of the plans um, handy right now. But I'm going to show you how we get there from here. There's the front. The flower box. I'm going to show you how we get there. We're going to get to the flower box, baby. But you got to be patient. There's a parking garage area. Thereabouts is your flower box, flat. There's our new, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. This is a roundabout. Oh, look at that. It's right about where the, where the, uh, where the, where the collapse happened. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. Now, let me get us across there. Let me get us from the pool deck into the structure. Let me get us there now. So, I'm gonna get you in the, I'm gonna get you from this pool deck into the structure. I'm going to have to get through that BMA. I'm going to do it by talking about old school elevations. Two foot, six inch elevation that we had here. Remember they changed the deck from 1010 to 1110? That went up one foot. This is part of the deck, which was going to make it from 1010 to two foot, six elevation. When they brought that to 1110, they reduced that to one foot, six inches. That means this size was supposed to be, right here guys, was supposed to be one, uh, two foot, six inches. That's a beam, basically, that's in there. Two foot, six inches. They took, they changed the elevation by one foot. That made that beam from two foot, six, down to a little scrawny, one foot, six beam. This, uh, this beam that would go across that was going to go, go across the face of this. So now it doesn't have the big two foot six beam. It has a one foot six beam. And therein gives us our path, our low path to get across there. And we start, we get the, we get our failure here to get in through this building here to get this to collapse. Once we get that, it's not slenderness factor that causes the columns to fail. It is not that that causes the column to fail. It is that they've been pulled on, tugged on, the rebar has been pulling, pulling at one of the sausage links. Remember how they work? That, let's pretend like this is the floor slab here, and the sausage link has got pulled out a bit. And it just screws up the joint right there, where the joint would be, where the two of them link together, the two floor levels. That gets us through there, into our parking garage, so we get a failure of the, of the BMA thereabouts right about here we have good flower pot set up here a settling down of it but we have the witness coming out first observing uh observing the deck we have the witness observing this collapse but it didn't collapse underneath of them at this time because they actually obviously made it out i've got the one foot one hour and 40 minute video that gives a lot more detail on this i think i'll just break it down and just give it to you in crumb uh, pieces here, here's just one of the videos I have for you. There's many videos stacked up for you on, on this on this drive, but this one alone, it's focusing. 
is one hour and 27 minutes long. That's a long time it took me to make this video for you guys. And here's the bonus round. The bonus round is once you look at the roof deck, it falls together. It falls together. And I'll give you the, the, the better video of this, but I want you to see the roof deck fall together. So you're going to see the roof deck right here, the black part of the roof show up. You're going to see our consolidated materials here go up through our low path zone, our failure zone, and you'll see the roof fall together, not drop down, all right? So there you go, together. Right there it is. Uh, well, I went too far. You see it fall together. And that's because an unsupported span was created at the lower level. And this buckle, this entire area buckled. I want you to watch the buckling of this one. Um, this is for you guys. Watch the buckling right there. Right there. Yep, that didn't work. Right there. Yeah, did it again. Right there. So right here, I want you to watch the buckling of this. This one's still not buckled yet, not fully. So this shows you this was going, then it pull the next one and the next one. It shows you our direction, so we, we get to come over there. And there's your buckle right there. Doop. And then there's your next, and there's your, your whole building shifting in. It's tugging over here, as you can see to the right. It's pretty much tugging instantly to the structure to the right. It's a bunch of drapes if you think of that. I'm, I got a shooting from my cell phone for you guys on this one. Let's look at your roof again. And there's your roof. So you can see how much it rotated over before, before it started pulling on the back. It had a big rotation before it started pulling on the back. And the longer video, I talk about the sixth floor where the lady was, and was it this wall she was looking at? It would be a column that she's separated by two inches. Is it a column? If so, is this the column or is that the column for the other side? If she comes in here, that's the hallway that she had time to skedaddle. I talk about how you get an unsupported span. At that point, the loads are going from here to here. Once the deck uh, starts pulling on the column, it weakens its capacity. Say it just throws it slightly at a, at a plum. It's still holding up for seven minutes, let's call it. Slightly at a plum as it takes the stresses and then finally it gives, gives, gives way. Plum, plum is okay. Slightly out is no good. But nothing for free. You can't pull a floor out. And it's not dealing with slenderness factor in this case because the floor did it. Its own damage causes its own drama and trauma to the uh, column's connections. Specifically, I believe, pulling them rattling the building and pulling it out rattling is the best way I can get there for you and that's two inches up here that's a hell of a rattle so I would have it uh, you know that'd be a one I have our beam failure um, either it's going to be right here right wait a minute there's the planter right here right here right down right between their room or we're going to move it over one you pick your poison on that I could I, I'm 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 going right through the BMA on this one I'm going right through the BMA, um, and I can explain more in more detail in a uh, future video. But I'm going right, I'm going right through that baby. Considering the BMA is right about there. If I'm off one by the right, shift me over to the right. All right, let me let me uh, let me get you this data. So I want you to see this. This would be that original, uh, not the scale, two foot six beam that was created from the slab outside the, the stack down here to the uh, elevation change inside lobby change, two foot six. But because they brought the deck up also and eliminated these beams, they reduced our beam from our building capacity down to say this one foot six. So now we lost the beam. So now that makes it that small. This beam in there, this 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 uh, transition slab, um, elevation slab difference, 
we now lose this this beam action going on. We we got this reduced deal, a reduced deal, down to one foot six as opposed to two foot six. Of course, we have my uh, missing beams here. We already talked about that in the video that uh, that uh, the desk jockey stole from me. And look, I know a lot of engineers are desk jockeys. I don't, I don't. I'm just attacking him only, not you guys. Hell, I will. I know. I wish I had. I'm, I'm a desk jockey right now, right? With all these damn videos, a thousand hours, I'm putting into it. I do the real world models for you too. So we have, uh, again, we have our BMAs gone. We now have our two foot six elevation change to one foot six. This is what I kept talking about forever, that this is a deck ledger failure. This thing has always been reduced too far down to one six. You get nothing for free. You can't just bring this up one foot and call it free unless you kept this also at two foot six and I don't think they did that. I don't think they still did that. I don't think they did that at two foot six. I think they did it at one foot six. I don't think it wound up looking like this. That's an upset beam. I can't imagine that being a pool deck and then they still went two foot six and then they did the elevation chain. I'm sorry, this would be pool deck. That would be the two, the, the larger beam in that. It just, we couldn't get inside the doors. This upset beam incidentally goes here. That's the upset beam. Uh, somebody said something about some damn column 16 that's been deleted. Somewhere it's over here, a column that you want, you're looking for deleted. It. It's over here somewhere. It's, it's not even a concern. It's not part of a collapsed building. So I just thought I'd resolve that deleted column issue. It's over there. It's out of the, lim out of the limelight. Here's our problem. Stay focused here. We got a BMA beam mission in action, as someone stated. I really like the uh, that that phrase. Um, beams missing in action and then we have the elevation change here now i you know the, the copycatters can only uh copycat what they see they because they didn't they didn't come up with the real data so they don't know uh like i know the other little details to add to the failure but in this case i got you guys almost there i got a couple more touches i gotta dial in I got a couple more touches I got to dial in. This is a this is a dedication to the engineers that call me up and want to talk and and uh, and do that, and also dedicated to the people that send me money on the side. They sent me a nice piece of money, George and Bruce, and would really like that. Actually, I'm gonna dedicate the software. It's gonna be dedicated back to the channel unless they delete my ass. Um, we're gonna get over here and talk about something over here in, in the future videos. It's gonna be very critical for me to explain this. This. I'm going to get something here. That's my tip. All right. Talk to you guys. Thank you again.